Hi guys and welcome back. So, surprise, surprise, Terry has been shopping. Ta-da! Anyway, I was shopping on Boohoo. Um, I never normally do online shopping, but um, I thought I would give it a go. Reason being, I have a weird body and I have to try everything on first. Um, so, this is actually three Boohoo orders. Some things got returned and the money got put back onto my PayPal account. So I was like, well, money's on my PayPal, I may as well spend it. Um, so it's three different orders. Um, so I've got to show you the things that I have kept and that do fit. It's a lot to show you. I'm going to get through it all as quickly as I can. But do yourself a favour and grab a snack and a drink because it's me. I talk a lot. We'll be here a while. Um, I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to try it all on. And... Um, I'll, I'll put a thing here or, you know, over the top of me talking or whatever, but you're going to see me wearing the clothes. Let's get to it. The first thing I picked up was a cap. Now, you might be thinking, huh? Weird. Why? Basically, um, I was watching a video quite some time ago from Ingrid Nielsen, and she has short hair. Um, like mine, and she was wearing a cap. I think she was wearing it backwards. I'm not sure I could pull that off, but I was like, oh, she looks really cool. I wonder if I look that cool wearing a cap. So um, I saw this one, and it was six euros, and um, well, I decided to keep it. I'm not really sure I look cool, but you know, they are also very good when your hair is not cooperating, which mine often doesn't. I've got crazy big hair today for some reason, and it won't go down, so I'm just rocking it. But yes, cap. God, I talk so much. I also picked up, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, a backpack. Um, reason being, I do have a smaller backpack, but this is, um, I needed one that I could fit my laptop in, and then my laptop charger, my USB card reader, a notebook, all of that kind of stuff, and the uh, one I have already is too small. Um, so I saw this one again, it was super, super affordable. Um, what I didn't realise when I got it, but I loved it when it arrived, is, oh god, you know, oh you can see, woohoo, it has this little cushion fluffy bit here, so you can stick your laptop in there and it's nice and safe and protected. I almost knocked my flowers over, that wouldn't have been fun. Um, yay, so bag. Then I got two pairs of shoes, I ended up, I ordered more, but I had to send some back, but I am left with two pairs of shoes that are considerably different to each other. So, the first pair is a pair of nude heels. I've been wanting some nude heels for a while. Um, they are not super high heels, um, but I'm not a stiletto wearing person. I would fall on my face if I wore stilettos. Um, but I couldn't find one with like a higher heel, but that wasn't too high, so I could still walk in it and not do that ugly, weird, half knees bent walk. Um, so I went for these. Um, so they have like, let me put one down. They're like this, um, then they have this strap that kind of goes up around your ankle. And the second pair of shoes I got are a pair of boots. Now, I've worn these already a couple of times since I got them, and I love them. They are so comfortable. But these, they're just brown suede boots, I guess. Um, and they have this, like, plaited um, detail that wraps all around and then ties in a bow at the back. The only annoying thing about these, actually, is this bow comes undone all the time. So I'm actually thinking about doing up the bow and then gluing it there, maybe. Um, you can actually take this piece off, um, so I might do that as well. I'm gonna have a think about it and see, but I really love these and they are really comfortable. Okay, so that's it for the accessories. What I'm gonna show you next is actually still in the bag um, because I basically don't have any more hangers in my wardrobe to hang this stuff up. So I've left it in the bag so the dog doesn't get at it, um, until tomorrow when I'm going to buy some new hangers so I can hang the stuff up. Um, so I'm just going to show it to you from the bag. So one of the things I'm probably most excited for that I picked up was this faux leather jacket. Um, it's quite a cropped style and you can see I've still got all the paper around the zips and stuff. I should probably take that off. Um, but I really like the kind of studded collar um, and the zip detail on it all. Um, it also comes with a belt around the bottom, which looks quite cool just as it is, but you can take that off if you like. Um, and if you've been around here for a while, you'll know the fact that I have the world's longest arms. It fits me in my arms, which is awesome. The only thing is it's a little bit tight kind of around the elbow area, but not super tight that I can't move at all. So I'm hoping after a little bit of wear that that's going to soften up 
Um, but I really, really, really like this jacket. Anyways, to describe it, it is a kind of navy, navy blue shirt. Um, it's got three quarter length sleeves. Um, it does have a cross kind of wrap over detail on the front and this kind of um, silk-ish material. I think it's really nice for a kind of smart casual thing. <clears throat> a smart casual thing. Um, and just thrown on with like a pair of uh, skinny jeans and heels or something like that. Um, easy to wear. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is pushing myself out of my comfort zone, but I got a skirt, and it's this navy blue mini skirt. It's a tight skirt. Um, there you go, you can kind of see it's got this kind of ribbed, wavy detail on it. Um, yeah, mini length. It's um, very tight, and it makes my butt look great, which I'm sure I'll be showing you in the cutaway when I film it. Okay, so if you know me at all, this next purchase is going to seem crazy. Not only because it's a skirt, but because of the design of it. To be honest, I'm not really sure where I'm going to wear this because it's not like I have the opportunity to really go anywhere that this kind of thing would be appropriate. But hey, I'm all about pushing myself this year. I will push myself to go somewhere appropriate in this skirt. But it basically looks like this. Ooh. Whoa, my lighting's going crazy pants. So, it's again a midi length skirt. It's A-line and it's high-waisted, which I never normally get. Um, so it has basically this skin-coloured short skirt underneath and over the top is then this kind of mesh, checkerboard kind of material over the top. Um, it will make more sense when it's on my body. Um, I'm excited to wear this, like I say, I just have to find somewhere to wear it to and get the balls together to actually wear it out of my house. Um, moving on, I picked up a jacket slash coat kind of thing. Um, it is this kind of camel coloured duster coat, it's a really thin material so not quite suitable for this weather yet, it has three quarter length sleeves, the big kind of, what are they called? I'm going to call them flaps. I know that's not the name, but that's what I'm calling them. Um, yeah, and it kind of comes down to knee length, just below, below knee length. Um, and I don't have a coat in this colour, and I've always wanted one, so I got one. But this is super, super simple. I've worn this a few times already. It's this kind of cream colour jumper. It's got, um, it goes like tighter at the bottom. It's a kind of see-through mesh material. Um, I've worn this a lot with like a pair of skinny jeans and those brown boots that I showed you at the beginning. But it was super, super cheap um, and just a great kind of throw on piece. The next two items are also something that's kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone. And I've got a couple of jumper dresses. I have some over knee boots and I love the look of over knee boots with jumper dresses, dresses on other people. So I wanted to give it a go. Um, so I picked up this one. Oh, oh, fluffing my lipstick. Um, it's a dark grey ribbed jumper dress, um, pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin, not much more to describe about it. Sleeves are kind of three quarter length on me, has a nice high collar, and um, you do have to be careful of what colour underwear you wear underneath. It's not see through, but the ribs um, can be kind of spaced apart. There you go, you can kind of see my hand if I do it like this. Um, so you just have to be a little bit aware of what colour underwear you wear underneath. But I'm excited to start wearing that when the weather allows it a little bit more. And the other jumper dress I got, this is having a hard time staying on the hanger, um, it's also grey, um, but it's this more kind of um, sweater material. Um, so again, it's just a long grey jumper dress, nothing much to describe about it there. But what I do like is it has this kind of tie-up detail on the shoulders. Um, and it has a bit more of a kind of open round neck if you have these kind of looser, but you can play around with them and adjust it to how you want the kind of neck to sit on yourself. And I thought it was a nice little detail for a kind of more casual jumper dress. Okay, so something else continuing on the pushing out of my comfort zone theme. I got a dress! Um, by the way, I need to point out that I got this stuff before I had the hair colour change and then I was like, oh god, I got this dress might be a bad combination. I don't know, I haven't tried this dress on since I had the hair colour. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, I'm not so sure anymore. Um, but it's too late to send it back anyway, so deal with it. 
But I got this dress, it's this kind of, um, it's kind of skatery, kind of t-shirty style dress. It's very loose and flowy. Um, it has kind of long short sleeves with cut out detail on the shoulder. It's a ripped kind of, um, it's coming more peachy on camera, but it's a little bit more blush pink in real life with a peachy tone to it. Um, but I thought this would look really nice with those over the knee black boots and that kind of, and I've got this kind of floppy black hat thing that I thought I might, make a, I might make a cool combo. I don't know, I'm not overly cool. We'll see. And getting back more into my comfort zone, I got a bunch of trousers. Um, the first one is um, not something I have ever worn before or something I ever thought I would wear, but I got a pair of clots. Now, when I got these, um, I tried them on and I sent pictures um, to my family like, oh, should I keep them? I don't know. Um, I think my mum said no and my two sisters said yes, but I decided to keep them anyway. So, again, these are a little bit more blush pink in real life than they're coming off across on camera. But they are a pair of loose culottes and they have this kind of um, darts, that's what they're called, darts sewn into it. So they have this kind of flowy thing going on at the front. They do have pockets, which I really like, and it's um, on an elasticated waistband, so great for awesome big dinners. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to style this yet, but I'm up for the challenge, um, and I'm quite excited about them, really. Next up, now, this, this pair of trousers is way more me. It's basically sweatpants in a smart version. So they're grey. Yes, I wear very monotone clothes. I'm comfortable there. If I'm pushing myself in style-wise, the colours are going to need to be comfort zoned. So they're grey. Um, and they are basically um, this, oh god, they're long, um, sweatpant material, not material, style. So they've obviously got the elastication at the bottom with black and white stripes. And apart from that, they're those kind of smart joggers. And the material's really nice and thin. Um, you do have to kind of wear appropriate underwear because it's thin material and you will be able to see a VPL. Um, they do have two pockets and, um, again, a, a nicer elasticated waistband. <clears throat> okay, so the next pair of trousers I picked up, and it's kind of a style I've been wanting for a while, but never bought any or whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure they're called cigarette trousers. You guys might be watching this like, oh, this girl's a noob. Um, but they're black. Um, and they are just long. Um, they come to about ankle length, as you'll see on the video, and the cutaway even. They have little cuffed bottoms, if you can see that. It's hard with black clothing. Um, they have pockets, and then it does you up by a zip on the side. My butt looks great in these, which I greatly appreciate. Um, I nearly didn't keep these qualities in that great. It has this lining on the inside that kind of tries to wriggle its way up and out of the trousers. Um, but they were super affordable and apart from that they fit really nicely as well so I decided to keep those. Um, and this pair of trousers um, I was probably the most excited about for what they look like on the website although slightly disappointed um, with how they fit although I have kept them. Again they're a kind of... Um, they're emanating, obviously, a kind of suit material, and they're quite manly in style. And but they are again cropped and then cuffed at the bottom. So there are this. Um, what's this print called? Pinstripe. Pinstripe. They are a grey pinstripe. Um, they have an elasticated waist. They do come with this kind of rope belt thing around it, which I will probably take off. Um, what I didn't really like about it is um, it's, it seems a little bit like they have a bit too much excess material here. Um, but I think maybe adding in a couple more darts, I'm going to ask my mum, um, is going to help with that problem. Because apart from that, they're actually really, really nice. They fit really nicely. Um, again, they have pockets. Um, it's just this little bit of excess material here. But um, I can deal with it if it can't be changed, but I'm pretty sure it can be. Um, so I'm really happy with those. First thing in the tops, it's pretty boring, I got a couple of t-shirts, I got um, a black and a white one and then I actually ordered another um, black and white one in I believe my third haul from Boohoo, my third order from Boohoo. 
Um, I really struggle with t-shirts because of my figure. Um, either they're too tight and I'm not getting the effect that I want from the t-shirt, or they're too too loose or too oversized, too baggy, and they look like I'm wearing a t-shirt that's too big for me. Um, these, however, don't do that. They are a little bit boxy, but I wear them tucked in. They have those kind of longer, short sleeves to them as well. The material is really nice. It's a kind of a very light rib um, effect, and it has just a simple round neck. Um, but I really like these. So if you guys are looking for some really nice t-shirts, I should tell my twin sister actually, she has the same problem with t-shirts that I do. Um, these are really nice, and like I say, I picked them up originally in black and white. The black one is covered in dog hairs. Um, and then I, I ordered two more because they are really great and I've worn them a bunch already. Um, I picked up this white kind of shirt. I was looking for um, white shirts to go with some of those trousers I showed you before and I couldn't find like shirt shirts that I really liked. Um, I did pick this up. It does need an iron. Um, but it is this kind of um, wrap over detail shirt. It comes with this kind of little bit here that you tie nicely in the front. Uh, it has long sleeves that do button up, um, but you can unbutton them, I guess, if you wish. It does have, um, one, it's one of those ones that are longer at the back, but it does just have this kind of straight cut down, which I don't overly like, so I will probably tuck that in. Um, but I think this will go really nicely with some of those trousers that I was just showing you. And the last top I got, um, I really love, and I can see this kind of in many different ways, mostly with skinny jeans and boots because it's me, but it's this black top. This is going to make my lights go crazy. So it basically has lace sleeves that are slightly kind of belled, um, and then the side panels of the top as well are lace. And then for the rest of it, it's the sheer black material. It does have this kind of double bottom, which is quite difficult to pick, on camera, pick up on camera. Um, and then the top also has this kind of unfinished lace detail and it does up um, around the back, it just has one little button and then a little peephole at the back. So it sits up on your neck slightly um, and I just think with a nice kind of um, black bralette under this, it would look lovely with a pair of skinny jeans on a night out. Um, so I'm really excited to wear that as I'm really excited to wear everything. Um, that is everything that I got from Boohoo. I'm sure this has been a mega long video. I kind of feel like I should stop apologising for doing that because I just can't help myself with talk. Um, but that's it. Again, I will try and leave all the links to everything down in the description box below. Um, if you are new here and you've not already subscribed, please help me out and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I would love you greatly for it. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye bye.